Alright. Oh, 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 Ready? Thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, busy week, but I'm excited to uh, be here today with our new head coach of the Sacramento Kings, Mike Brown, uh, who, as you all know, is fresh off another championship. We're super excited to have you on board, and I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Monty. Thank you all for, for having me here. This, this day is very, very exciting for me. And one of the main reasons that I was brought here was to bring some leadership in a lot of different areas. I've been with a lot of different teams in my 30 years, and I've experienced what I believe uh, is something that can get organizations over the top, not just in one year, but year in and year out. And that's having a winning culture. Every organization out there, in my opinion, has a soul. And the stronger that soul is, the better that organization will be. A strong soul, in my opinion, equates to a winning culture. Hey Mike, Matt George, ABC 10. Welcome to Sacramento. Thank you. In addition to the, the young core that you've already talked about, the exciting core here, it's draft week, the fourth overall pick uh, that the Sacramento Kings have. How excited are you to see what Monty and his staff are able to add to this core this offseason and implement that uh, into next season? I'm excited. You know, the, the draft's going to be a fun time for all of us. Uh, I hope the city of Sacramento uh, is just as excited as I am. These guys are going to do a terrific job. They've been working their tails off. Uh, they're very knowledgeable about the draft and, and everything that comes along with it. So uh, I'm looking forward to it for sure. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Thanks, GB. I appreciate you. Being on the West Coast is, is nice on draft day. It starts at five. We'll get in early today, set our final board, talk with our group, uh, talk with some teams that we've been you know, discussing certain trades with and, and kind of get ready for anything that may happen on the clock. And, and, uh, and really the last one is just make sure that all our information, um, you know, that we're prepared for, for every scenario uh, that may come at us, right? We all think we, we have an idea of what may happen, but uh, our job is to be prepared for, for the unexpected as, as best we can. I think this year what's super exciting for us is when we jumped in the lottery. And uh, to add a top five pick, we're sitting at, at number four and, you know, really excited about the talent, uh, the prospects, the, the players that, that we'll get to choose from. And uh, that certainly makes it exciting. I've never picked this this high. Uh, and Kings fans, I definitely don't want to pick this high again. So we're gonna we're gonna make this one count, and uh, and then we'll be we'll be working to improve the team from uh, from the back half of the first round after after some playoff runs. It's been a really exciting few weeks here as we've uh, since the lottery prep for for our pick and prep for this draft and uh, our group's been hard at work. Uh, long days, uh, long weeks, but uh, a lot of great preparation and we are finally ready for it to kick off. Good evening and welcome to the 2022 NBA Draft at Barclays Center. The young men who will hear their names called this evening have the chance to be among the next generation of stars in our league. Where will they land? We're about to find out. The Orlando Magic select Paolo Bancaro from Duke University. The Oklahoma City Thunder select Chet Holmgren from Gonzaga University. The Houston Rockets select Jabari Smith Jr. from Auburn University.
How much time do we have? How much time we got? We four, have four minutes. Yeah. Four minutes. Everybody ready? Yeah. We're ready to select. Well, Sacramento, their pick is in. Let's hear from NBA Commissioner Adam Silver to see who the Sacramento Kings will be taking. With the fourth pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select. Kings select Keegan Murray, Iowa. <laughs> Keegan Murray from the University of Iowa. Yeah! Yeah! I just hear my name be called um, on draft night with my mom, my dad, uh, my sister, my brother here. It's, uh, it's a really cool feeling. I think I'll, I'll never forget it. As we went along and certainly as we got into the final days, it was just apparent to us that if Keegan Murray was there, uh, that was going to be the best course of action for us. So, uh, you know, hats off to my, my staff. I mean, when you sit there on the final day and you feel that comfortable, you know, it really makes you, you feel uh, confident that you're doing the right thing. It's Monty McNair with the Kings. I got Coach Brown with me. How are you? Hey, what's up? How are you guys doing? I hope as good as you, man. Congratulations. Um, yeah. No, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready to get to work, so it's time to win. Time to win. I love it. Excited to have you. Excited to have your family. Can't wait for you to get here, my man. Congratulations, man. Enjoy this with your family. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon here in Sacramento, all right, man? Appreciate you guys, man. Okay, buddy. Have a good night. Yeah, I'll see you guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Beautiful. Three years ago, I was an unranked recruit going into the University of Iowa. Um, so for me, I know this is just the beginning of my journey, uh, and I'm excited for, for the rest of my career. I'll go with 13. It doesn't matter where you're at in life. Put your head down and work hard. At the end of the day, if you work hard, something good will happen. Jay Phillips joins us now. We appreciate the time after what was a very lengthy night. If there's a player that you believe is ready to make a significant impact immediately, who would that player be? Well, you would always start with the, the top three, but I'm going to go to number four, and that's Keegan Murray from Iowa, Scott. He, he's an older player. He's 22. Uh, made a tremendous improvement from last year to this year. His numbers are spectacular, and I think Sacramento made a really good pick at number four. Sacramento probably got the most NBA ready today plug and play guy in Keegan Murray. It's, you still have that really cool feeling just remembering last night on what happened. But today's a new day. It start, started my journey um, and hopefully a long career. So excited to get rolling, get down to Sacramento. Excited to, uh, to finally welcome Keegan in person to the Sacramento Kings. And, uh, fans, the whole community, uh, ready, we're ready for him to, to get here and then ultimately get started on the court. What's up? Just landing here in Sacramento. It's time to get to work. I feel like this is where I belong and I'm actually excited for my future here and see where, uh, where it grows from this point. How did you find out when they announced it? you find out a little hit beforehand? The only time I know is when the cameras start going to the table beforehand because they like premature it. Yeah. So everyone, I just had so a that bunch was your of, first hit, the cameras? Yeah, so I had just a bunch of cameras on me so I was like, all right, let's button but. this up and <laughs> let's get ready. Before we walked out, my mom started crying. I was like, going to ask, uh, who was the most emotional? My mom, by mom. far. <laughs> That's great. The day before, she, she cried. So we had dinner Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Cried on both the dinners. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. But yeah, it, she, had a, she, she controlled her emotions, so it was, it was all good. But, Man, I love it. Yeah. Love it. Hey, good tears. Yeah. A lot of good tears last night for yeah. a lot of folks. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was, it was a good night. It was a good night. At least they didn't put Chris up there. <laughs> Did we get the right uh, one? No, you got the right one. You got the right one. Did you your billboards? Yeah. They're so nice. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Blessed to be in this position. I'm ready to get to work. I'm relieved to finally find a place to call home. Appreciate it. Excited to be here. Excited to be here. As a kid, you always dream about this kind of stuff, so. See what we got. Well, looks like I got, got a new wardrobe. <laughs> Jeez. No, this is nice. I think the purple will look good on me. Here's the, oh, here's the. Hopefully hear a lot of those in the stairs. <laughs> It's a dream come true uh, to be, be able to put on the purple and black. Um, so I'm grateful to be in this position. Um, Sacramento has welcomed me with open arms uh, so far. So I'm excited to see um, everyone at the games and things like that. Um, for me, it's been a journey um, from where I came from and to where I am now. So uh, this is the first step in my journey. I'm forever grateful to be here in Sacramento. I to walk into camp with a lot of, a lot of kids um, playing basketball. What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up? Just wisdom for you guys from when I was growing up. I was never a ranked recruit um, in high school. You see all those five-star, four-star guys. Um, you think that's the end-all, be-all. But at the end of the day, if you work and put the time in on the court, something good will happen to you at some point. Just seeing all the different personalities, all the different character, um, just inside the gym and in, in this community, uh, I think is really cool. Um, these kids are really special in their own right. Um, and it's, this is just the beginning of their journey. Um, to, to see them so excited uh, for, about the game of basketball, is, I feel like it's really cool. Because I knew that at a young age, I always wanted to look up to a professional athlete. When I was younger, I wasn't able to have that opportunity. I'm a professional now, so having the opportunity to give back, I feel like, is important to me. A lot of us, we always get caught with results. Results is, I'm a winner and I hate to lose. I don't give four fucks about winning and losing. I am a fighter. So what I care about is how you win and how you lose. And if you fight every day and you compete and you do it, you get 1% better, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win more than we're gonna lose. But we have to be, everything we do, we have to compete. With your teammates here, you have to push them to the limit. 